Definitely a driver hole. Got it right at that tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get lucky. Huh. I don't know. Can I carry that bunker? Straight Might be really good. Tree, yeah? Yep, that's where I was aiming at. That's where I wanted to hit it. I finally hit one left. It was only 250 to cover the bunker, but it said with the wind and uphill, it was playing 270. But these lips are big. I don't remember this out here. I chunked it safe. I shouldn't get mad at that. Well, look at how much room you have to the right of this. It's, um, it's a difficult water, green right? to go for in two. I've hit it in two before. Because if I really smoke a tee shot, I can get my tee shot almost down to where this ball is. Into the wind, so we, over a creek. From 174, playing 68. Oh, Yahtzee, barely clear the creek, short of the green, yowza, ooh, thank you, see that would be a good mental scorecard, my last thought there was you're about to chip this in. I'll take it. After that tee shot, par is a good score. Driver? Yeah. You don't get too many chances for a hole in one on a par four. Into the wind. Why not? Oh yeah, it's on the green. Good shot. It's left. It's on the green. I don't know what happened when it went down. There may be a valley in front of the green, so Did maybe. Did make it? Yeah, there may be a big valley in front of the green. I forget if it drops off over there. Did it? Ooh, now we're talking. Too much pace on it? Not much. Huh? Down that much, right? So. Yeah. You have maybe two or three more feet high. I'm gonna play smart, okay? So am I. I'm gonna blast it over these bumpers. How far is it? Why I say it's tough is because all of these holes want you to hit a fade. Be good. I think that's good. Should be right. Can't hit it harder. I don't. I don't think I can aim further left and not go through it. That, that is the line. Geez, that feels super aggressive standing on the tee, and that's absolutely the line that I just hit. I knew I needed to go over that bunker. I didn't know quite how far right I could go. Every hole out here is pretty interesting, because you take the safe one, which you can see, leaves you 190 into the green. Well-designed golf hole. Don't know. That's where I think it was headed. I hit it good. It was a pitching wedge. Pitching wedge, 147. Go. 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 I'm used to you telling me all the ways you're going to hit it further than me. Man, I had something on my face and I'm sitting there thinking about that instead of hitting the putt. Bad bogey. This one that drives you crazy. Good drive, good wedge, good chip. Miss a four footer. When you hit it far enough, it falls off a cliff downhill. All right, stay in it, get it to the right. It's chicken, it's chicken. I mean, it's fine. I wanted it 30 yards left of that. The second shot's fun. One, two, well, I got nightmares of a duck hook with the three wood, so that was very much hit it to the right. 180, holy cow, I wouldn't expect to have that much left in. Maybe I should hit driver. Okay, online with that tower. I'm gonna hit a punch seven. Oh, that's left. Get down. Not the worst shot in the world, just a little bit left of target. Probably a stick too many. Tough little hole, huh? I had a pretty good one. That's hit too hard. But that's a good miss because now I got an uphill slope Spin. Bit. Easy up and in. Hey. Firm and inside left. That's one if you miss is 10 feet by. This is a nasty hole. I should have hit driver. Shot, uh, 
got to go, I think. I think it's got to go. It's short. Short. Oh, no. You hit a four or five? I hit a four. You nuked that. Maybe a half a groove skinny? I mean, not bad. I hit it good. This is a hard hole, dude. I told you I told you this is the hard part three. A lot of club, uphill. You, if you're smart, you got a lot of room around the green, so getting up and down is not the challenge. Put it in a spot where you can put a club on it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so I mean, you can lay up over that bunker and have a decently easy shot. Well, except it gets narrow. <laughs> Smart went out the window four holes ago. Nope. That's exactly where I was trying to hit it. There's no point. I mean, it's 295 to carry on line with the green. Feeling it, feeling the vibe. Pulled it and didn't hit it. Good part. I don't know what I'm doing over there. Let's come over here. Still couldn't do it. Get out of here. It's just such a Miss. Chicken shot. It's a good miss. Thank you. I'll take it. Now this is a little bit of a tough shot. Downhill lie, downhill slope. Do you land it on the green or do you bounce it short and let it roll up? Ooh, I missed my spot just by a foot. Ain't bad. That's not bad. Inside left, you think? No, that's rhetorical. Thank you. Not as good as mine, but it was good. It's a good sign, right? Absolutely. Sign of a, I don't know if it's a sign of an eagle, but it's a sign of something. A little thin. Uh -oh. A little thin. Play. A little thin. You're all right. Stay inside the trees. I'll get away with that one. Rocked off it a little. Got Got to get up and down again. Got nah, I got nothing. All that does is bring a lot of trouble into play. All it does is bring a lot of trouble into play. I had three doubles on the front. Other than that, I'm playing one over golf. 65 yards. Pretty straightforward. Lots of green in front. Got to go. It's right at it. Should release a little bit. Be aggressive. Let's make a park here. Five feet for par, baby. Let's go. Thank you. Easy par, man. Trees can't hold me down. Let's end on a high note. Ball, Dallas. Quit. Needs to quit. Soft. It needs to quit. Soft. I don't know. That might be wet. It gets skinny right around that area, huh? Yeah, that that's the pulley one I don't like. Unfortunately, it bounced left. I need it to bounce straight. Thanks. Got an up and down chance for par. That's all I could ask after that tee shot. 
I knew I probably couldn't get it there, but I didn't care. It's okay. Get it across. Get your wedge. I've gotten up and down a lot today. Yeah. I'm thinking I Changing that 56, I'm telling you, dude, I just feel so much better. I know how far it's going to go. I know how it's going to react. It's night and day for me. Right edge. Thank you, man. That was some good grinding there on the back. All right, now we're done with 18 holes. I shot a 76. Not bad after three doubles on the front nine. I was one under after the seventh hole. Really rebounded well and scored well on the back nine. If you look at where my mistakes were, my mental scorecard was a 93%. Only 85% of the drives, that's really where I made my mistakes, just being uncommitted to some tough tee shots. I only hit 7 greens, that surprised me after the fact. When I saw that I shot 76, I would have expected to have hit more greens. That means I really scrambled well. And when you look at the strokes gain statistics, that's exactly what happened. I made the driving mistakes with uh, several penalties and punch outs, but my short game really recovered nicely and I gained lots of strokes there by chipping it close and giving myself some good opportunities to make some putts. My approach game was better than normal for me as well, so when I was in the fairway, I was in a good spot. When you look at my driving dispersion and why I lost shots with the driver, you'll see that most of my big misses were to the right. That's where my recoveries were, my penalties were, with the exception of the last hole. All of my penalties were on the right-hand side. I was pretty good otherwise. If you look at the approach statistics, really I was dead on in terms of accuracy where I was missing with short and long, so distance control, but left to right I was in a really good spot. Short game, I got up and down from everywhere, especially from the fairway and the rough. I was hitting it really close, giving myself some really good putting opportunities, making that very easy on myself uh, on the greens. And then putting, I did excel. I only had the one short missed where I just had a total brain fart. I was scratching my face. Uh, or wanted to scratch my face when I should have been focusing on that putt. Otherwise, I made all my short putts, made a couple mid-range putts, and really just didn't make too many mistakes. So, all in all, good bounce back, good recovery after the seven, first seven holes were a bit of a disaster. So, turned what could have been a disastrous round into a 76. Pretty respectable round. All that round summary comes right out of the box with the new Park Golf app that I'm about to release that I've been working on. Um, helps me play better golf, really, to see where my strengths and weaknesses are and where I need to work on the next time. So get ready to download that. In the meantime, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and stay tuned. A lot more to come on the Good Miss Golf.